Now, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's analysis. Now, in 2019, if you can remember, there is one law which Honorable George Peter Opondokaloma sponsored in Parliament, and it actually successfully went through, and it is now a law as we speak. It is called the Law of Succession. According to Kaluma, the bill seeks to amend Section 29 of Law of Succession 2019 to allow only spouses to get inheritance and not mistresses and slay queens whenever husband passes on. And that is why I'm also proposing amendment to the definition of spouse. And Madam Speaker, what I've proposed there before I say much about the motivation is that a spouse shall mean husband or a wife or wives as recognized under the marriage act so this law is seeking to bar the slay queens and mpango wakando from unprecedentedly ripping out of where they did not sow in fact this law is very serious to the extent that if you are an estranged wife and you are targeting to benefit from your deceased lover and the law does not recognize you in totality then you can be bad completely and you can get nothing in fact the law can take its recourse on you and you can even be jailed so Opondokalumu was very happy when that bill is sponsored went through and it became a law if you are a woman who is involved in a relationship uh, and uh, you want to inherit the property of the man you are involved with uh, when he dies then uh, it is high time you uh, moved to regularize and formalize that relationship into a marriage if you do not do that uh, then uh, now that we have this law when the man dies you stand uh, to get nothing from his estate in 2019 uru kenyatta signed it into, into law but now um there is something that has come out which is actually a tragedy for this a man from Uma Bay county and they always say that if you find that the woman you are with is having a child and this child is not your child then you can go into what they call a family depression because it will hit you with a tragedy of the highest order you know you become shocked you become past shocked this law that he actually sponsored its bill in 2019 is kind of related to what is happening to him right now because right now there is this kind of very difficult situation he has found himself into where he has to meet the demands of his estranged lover and the reason why i was doing this analysis is because of that law actually the succession a law 2019 because it, it, it was very serious and you know very many people celebrated it by that time that is the time when we had a lot of politicians facing issues to do with estranged love affairs you know uh, very many people very many ladies coming up and saying you know I have a child with this politician and they were timing the moment a very very key political figure dies then that is the time we see ladies left right and center coming on board and saying this was my man and if i want to prove to you and you believe me here is the child and so the court can take matters to an extent that you know uh, if it is an inheritance it can be apportioned to that restrained lover and the child can be maintained within the lineage and the wealth system that the deceased was having so for this case it is like the law has come to haunt peter kaloma because right now um a children's court has found that he is neglecting his maintenance for a child that he had with an estranged lover and so by 2019 if i'm trying to gauge the court is saying that peter kaloma has not been meeting the maintenance cost or the expenses in fact the one which is very serious which of course the court always looks at with that at most uh, keenness is how you are meeting the education expenses for the kid you sired out outside marriage 
and everything is indicating that they are your, ch your, your child, you know. So Peter Kaloma has found himself on the wrong side of the law. And the court has ordered him to pay 655,000 Kenyan money for the child's maintenance, especially for the fee areas. And the court found out that he had not been paying. And so Peter Kaloma has been exposed. He has been uh, washed in the river where they washed the dirty linen. And the law that he kind of proposed in 2019 to be dealing with more or less the same instances, it has boomeranged back on him and he is going in for serious, you know, consequences that comes with the law. Because the court was saying that if he refuses to pay these expenses, then definitely his salary is going to be attached to the automatic deduction. So meaning he must just do it. He has to do it. And this actually brings in a discussion of how are politicians aligned in their social life? Because most of the time you find that these politicians are not careful on who they sire children with. It is the last of the flesh that they always have. And you look at recently we had the instance of Nyachai's family. There is this lady who is coming up and saying that she had a ceremonial you know, union with Nyachai. And back in the days, Nyachai only sent his brother to the lady's home and they unionized everything. So it was kind of something which was informal, but it had weight. And they had a relationship and they had kind of a family-like, you know, connection and ties. So, you know, the lady is now coming up and is in need of a share of properties of Yachai. And it is so serious and it is taking a different twist altogether. So, the same case is almost the same as what Kaluma is facing. But now, you know, this one has been segmented and is only on the line of, you know, Punda has to meet uh, the fees and the expenses that are pertaining to the child's education and it is so serious so i think you know he has found himself in a very difficult situation and they always say that we have that kind of pain reliever which is called kaloma pain bar so opondo kaloma has found himself in a situation where he has to use the kaloma pain reliever ladies and gentlemen Let's be careful, especially men out there. Be careful. Be careful and be very faithful. Have nothing to do with the last of the flesh that is taking you outside, siring a child with just anybody. It is ungodly. It is uncalled for. It should not be in our society. And we need to have a decent line of having our affairs and meeting the needs of our family going forward. Let me see you in the next analysis. May you have a great time.